a lot of us, you know, whether you're just a, a normal person or not, like for a guy like you, who's accomplished so much to go and introduce yourself to every single person says a lot. It's like, doesn't matter how much success you have or how big you've gotten, you're still doing the same things you're telling people to do right now for yourself. I love it, I love it. And 100% agree, one thing I didn't realize as I got into my business career was that literally everything is selling, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I, I was an introvert, I did not wanna to talk to people, I did not do very well when I first became a realtor in 2010 because I was just afraid to talk to people, being introverted. And I just figured that people would be smart enough to buy the things that I knew were smart, right? Yeah. Like I remember showing houses that were $80,000 that were, you know, over 300 grand a couple of years before, you know, and then the market tanked. And I'm like, guys, buy this house. Like yeah, it's no such brand. a good deal. But I didn't have the sales skills, like other than I knew in my mind it was great and I knew they should do it, but I could not convince them otherwise. Yeah, and I love that. And by the way, if you're paying attention, look, every I said in the beginning, everybody sucks till they don't, right? So everything that you've learned in your life, you've acquired, which means an introvert, right, can turn into an extrovert. Would you agree? Right. Let me tell you why selling is so important to learn. Because number one, you need to be extroverted, but you can still be an introvert. I'm an introvert. Me and my wife, we used to go to dinner. Literally, they would order the wrong food, right? And I wouldn't speak up. Mm -hmm. I would eat the wrong food because I didn't want to make a, a fuss. Does that make sense? Right. That was me. But when I was in the automotive space, I destroyed it. If I was on my pavement, my lot, my place, I owned that. That was my territory, right? Mm -hmm. But once I walked outside of that territory, I didn't want to talk to anybody. But what I learned one day, I was talking to my wife, we walked by a lady and I smiled, or actually, I'm my bad, I'm gonna reverse. I walked by a lady, I didn't smile at her. And I told my wife, I said, what's that lady's problem? You know what she said? She said, well, number one, why didn't you initiate a smile and say, hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, I don't I mean, that's just not the way I am, but she's in a bad mood. She goes, no, listen to me. What do you want in life? Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott. I just released my social media total domination playbook. Now I wanna ask you a question, right? Does everybody know who you are, what you do, how great you are, what you do and where you're at? If not, I'm gonna show you how to make that happen. This is world domination. I'm gonna show you how to destroy it. If you're a sales pro and you're in the automotive space, this book right here is gonna show you how to destroy your competition. I'm gonna give this to you for free. I currently train over 300,000 salespeople and I have over 4,000 dealers on my training platform. There's another level. I'm gonna take you there. Guys, click the link below. I'm gonna give you this for free. Let's kick ass. Let's destroy your competition. What do you want? Do you want people to wanna like you? Do you want people to wanna be around you? Look, you're a sales guy, Andy. She's like, do you think people buy in a good mood or a bad mood? Look, think about the buying state. Let's think about it. You call out, you're wanting to buy your, somebody's home or whatever, or you're wanting to sell a product. Do you think that person's gonna do what it is that you want them to do and agree with you if they're in a bad mood? No, so they're gonna mirror your state. They're gonna mirror your attitude. They can tell whether you're smiling, smiling with your eyes, having the best day of your life, and this is good for them. Well, guess what? My wife, that day, everything changed. I said, you know what? So you're watching this energy that we have. And by the way, it's passion. And I always say this, I turn my pain into passion. People that are capable for the most, the people that can grow the most, are the people that have been through the most crap. I'm telling you, and you take that pain, you study, you learn, you use it as passion, and I'm gonna tell you in a society out there right now that really doesn't care and it's the truth, you will stand out, and within a couple few years, you'll be at the top. Mm -hmm. So, I was gonna tell you, just like you're extroverted, so am I, or introverted, so am I. But guess what, I decided from that day forward, never am I gonna be an introvert again. So now when I walk by someone, I'm always saying, hey, hope you're having the best day of your life, how you doing? Yeah. Why? Because I want people to feel great. By the way, don't care about money, care about people, you'll never worry about money. It's just the truth. Be really good at dealing with people. So I was gonna say, anybody watching this, a rule you need to do is you need to take attack. Everybody that you walk by, build a relationship with them. Say hi to them. Do the things that we don't like. Everything you want in life is on the other side of being uncomfortable. Right. You wouldn't be where you're at, right? You didn't want to learn YouTube. You didn't want to learn social media. You didn't yeah. want to be on a camera, but guess what? You knew that was what needed to be done. Mr. I don't feel like it never, uh, he never became anything. Yeah. And yeah. that's it, so. No, 100%. Um, it comes back to doing the things that you may naturally not want to do, but you know you need to do them. And that's going to be the difference of whether you're successful or not. But I'll tell you for everyone listening, 
you know, I, I met Andy, we, well, we actually met at my Future Flipper event for the first time, um, briefly. Um, he came with it was Brad amazing. Lee. Yeah, it was a great event, and um, Brad spoke, and uh, he gave me a lot of crap, and it was great. But, uh, you know, we ended up um, saying hi, and then all of a sudden, um, you know, we got a book for him to come here to Vegas to do this podcast, and we had dinner last night, and the first thing that happens is, his entire team comes up to me and just like making me feel so welcome, dude. They're like giving me hugs. A um, couple of them, like, I don't know what they were trying to do, but it was all good. Like I felt the love and you know, it was great. And today as we go to the office, they literally shook every person's hand in the office, introduced themselves, brought the energy, hyped them up and you did the same, you know? And it's like, sometimes a lot of us you know, whether you're just a, a normal person or not, like for a guy like you, who's accomplished so much to go and introduce yourself to every single person says a lot. It's like, doesn't matter how much success you have or how big you've gotten, you're still doing the same things you're telling people to do right now for yourself. That's right, and I wanna say something. When you go and meet somebody, is your energy infectious? I mean, I'm asking like, what are you infecting people with, right? Look, you get to choose who's around you in your life. I always say take inventory of your life. Okay, I want to be a person that when I'm around somebody, they never forget me. They never forget me. And it's, by the way, it's my job to make that happen. That's not going to happen accidentally. People don't accidentally get successful. Okay, right. People win on purpose. You know why? Because they have an intent. Their intent is mine with everybody is when I meet you, number one, you are important. You are significant. We want you to have a great life. Look, when they bury us with dirt, we want to make a lot of money. Sure, that's great, all right? But at the end, and I want, and why do I want a lot of money? Because I want my family to have a great lifestyle, period. Mm -hmm. End of story. I want all my people that work for me to make a lot of money. But I want, just like you want, to change the way that the world has worked forever. So many people have so many low self-limiting beliefs. They have lids on themselves. So guess what? What do we need to do? Well, number one, we need to be like a true one percenter and not be like the other 99 percent. So what does everybody else do when they go and they meet other people? Nothing. They're entitled. Dude, your ego is burying you. You're nobody. You could go back to being nobody tomorrow. Right. Every day I go back to zero. I want to say this right. Every day we go back to zero. Zero. Look, I tell my wife all the time, by the way, she's the money person. She hides all, I mean, she didn't hide it. I asked her to hide it. Right. You know why? Because I want to live like I'm broke. Yo, you'll get comfy. Yeah, and I don't want it. By the way, like, listen to me. The second I get comfortable, I'm finished. I tell her every day, I'm after the journey, not mm -hmm. after a destination. Right. You know, I talked to you last night. You go, hey, whether I become a billionaire, um, whether I become this or that or whatever, you know what? I don't care. You go, I want to win. Yeah. This is a game. Mm -hmm. The question is, are you playing the game to win or are you playing the game to lose? I read a book Tim Grover wrote called Winning and then Great it was book. Relentless. Yep. Relentless said, does winning recognize you? Like, does it? Like, look, whether you have the brain, analytical brain to grow and do systems and processes and efficiency, and that's your strong point, and you're a great, you know, social media person, or whether you're a hardworking sales guy, you're willing to put in all the hours, you know, you're willing to, you know, show people massive love, whatever your skill is. And by the way, whatever skill you don't have right now, you can learn it. Find your leaks, find your leaks. I would say, if everybody's writing down something right now, write down two things, number one, leaks. Write down opportunities. Opportunities are things you're currently not doing that you know you need to do. Look, if you want to be like this guy right here, if you want to have a massive, re we'll call it just reach to right. people because people need to know who you are, what you do, how great you are at what you do and where you're at. Right. If you're going to do something, shouldn't if everybody's going to, everybody at some point is going to buy or sell a house. So if you're in real estate, everybody should know who you are, right? Exactly. If they don't, shame on you because you have social media. Right. So all this stuff that he's doing, well, guess what? You just watch. Anyone else could have done it. Yeah, and they can still do it right now. 100%. There's so many people that are, and by the way, listen to me, it's gonna suck. It's gonna be hard. You're either gonna be obsessed with winning or obsessed with losing. And by the way, training, you know, and we'll call that learning, right? Like investing in yourself. People, like at the Future Flipper event, right? Those people came to get in that room to look up your skirt to see what it is that you know. Do you follow Brad Lee? Guys, it's Andy Elliott right here at my conference room in Scottsdale, Arizona. We are putting on the event of the year, June 4th. Entrepreneurs, salespeople, closers, business owners. You want to build a sales team and learn how to close anybody, anytime, any place, anywhere. This is going to be the event. And by the way, Brad Lee isn't going to be here like a speaker at most speaking events. He's personally going to be training from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Everything you need to know to 
triple your income this year. And by the way, this is an event that ain't gonna happen again. If you wanna be the best, if you wanna be so great at what you do, you make your competition look like freaking amateurs, this is the place you wanna be. We only got 350 seats, so the spots are gonna go out fast. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. You don't want to miss this event, shoot a text message right now to 918-210-0254. Let's kill it, baby. Let's go.